Hey viewers, thanks for tuning in. Today we are going to replace uh, lower control arm ball joints and outer tie rod ends on a 2006 Ford 500. And this same repair also applies to, or the same technique I'm going to use, applies to the Montego and the Ford Freestyle because they use the exact same part numbers, the exact same parts. So I'll try to keep my mouth shut during this video. Enjoy.
Okay, so what you just saw me do was what I call a real quick tape measure alignment. Um, whenever I replace steering and suspension components on a vehicle, before I do anything at all, before I even take the tires off the car, I'll measure on the front. Um, these are good tires to measure on. I'll measure from the inside edge of the first line on the tire to the inside edge of the first line on this tire. And then I, I find a box or whatever I've read on. 59 and 5 eighths inches. So when I take it all apart, put it all back together with new parts, I center the steering wheel by eyeball, and then I'll lift the car up. You don't have to, you could jack it up. And I just look at the tires, and if one of them is, if one of the tires is mostly straight and the other one is way out, and my measurement isn't correct, well then I know that's the tire that I need to correct. Um, now this isn't a proper alignment, but this will get you to the alignment shop. Obviously I don't have an alignment rack here, so I don't do alignments. Um, that being said, it's kind of a double-edged sword because a couple of the vehicles I've worked on, I've actually got the vehicle to track straight with a straight steering wheel. And I tell the people, you got to get a wheel alignment, and then they don't get alignment. Six months later, their tires are bald because their alignment was off. And they tell me, it didn't need one, it drove great. Well, it doesn't matter how it drives, it still needs one. So if the steering wheel is a little bit off, I'm not too worried about it because that kind of reinforces the mindset to the owner of the vehicle. Like, hey, we've got to get this vehicle into an alignment shop, get it done correctly. But to get to the alignment shop, it's a lot easier if you uh, do a quick toe set, and that would be adjusting the toe. Toe is in and out on the tires steering with a tape measure. Um, I'm not measuring both sides. I don't need to. I measured it before I took it apart, and I'm just getting it back to where that was because that was how they drove it every day. Even though it wasn't right, it's close enough to drive five miles up the road to the alignment shop. So it's a good, good thing to do. So take a measurement, write it down. When you get all done, put it right back to that same measurement, run it up the road to the alignment shop. There we go. Thanks for watching. One more quick tip. Um, when you replace tie rod ends, I guess mostly just tie rod ends, but it could go for control arms on certain vehicles and, and um, other suspension components, always, always, always tighten the jam nut. Even if you know that the vehicle is going to leave your garage and go straight to the alignment shop, tighten the jam nut. And the reason I say that is because the next guy that's going to work on it, that's going to do the wheel alignment, he's not going to expect the jam nuts to be loose on the tie rod ends. And when he puts it on the machine and does his camber caster sweep, and let's say the toe on this tire is perfect, and this is the only one that has to be adjusted, and that does happen sometimes, not often, but sometimes, he's not going to check that jam nut. He's going to assume, like we would all assume, that it's tight, which could lead to steering failure and an accident, and liability, and you're a bad mechanic, blah, blah, blah. So, doesn't matter if it's going to the alignment rack, as soon as it leaves your rack, tighten the jam nuts. Hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.